welcome friends to my third video now we'll understand how to create assignments and quiz assignments so first let us understand the assignment part click on the assignment and you can give students an assignment like uh, define planning process in detail and I can even give instruction that the answer should be innovative and presentable. I can give again add any document I would want to give them or I can even give marks for this assignment any marks say my assignment is of 10 marks so 10 marks. And again, to all students, to my management students, a due date for this assignment, for sure, because there should be a deadline, say 30th of June is the deadline. And topic again, it comes under planning. And I assign it to the students. So now I have an assignment also they have to define the planning process in details and the due date is 30th of June now how a student will view it let's see the student view a student can easily see that a teacher has posted an assignment click on this view assignment and this is the student's view so he can see that you have assigned 10 points for this assignment and you want the answer to be innovative and presentable how a student will reply he will go on this add or create click on it and attach his assignment from again these options Let's say from my desktop the student is assigning and upload so once the student has uploaded the answer to the assignment the student has to turn in and it asks again whether to turn in yes turn in and by this way the student has submitted the assignment let's see the teacher's view so one student has given me the answer the teacher will click on this and Anu Sharma has given the answer. Now how to check the assignment? Click on this and you can view what the student has answered like this. So here is the answer of the student planning process, whatever the student has written. And now you can grade the students. Say I give him a 7 on 10 and I will return the assignment marks so I have checked one assignment and graded one assignment as well so you can see after refreshing you can see that one student gave me an answer and I have graded that student so it will come under graded now graded and I have given a 7 on 10 so whatever marks I give all the students marks will be displayed over here so this is the beauty of Google classroom and even those marks will come under the grade option see Anusharma 7 so this is like a report card Whatever assignments I give to my students per student, it will come and the whole class will come and an average will also be shown of the class. So grades is also a good option. Now let us understand one more thing in assignment. Say I give the same assignment, explain the process of planning. And now I have over here hundred marks I want to give I will assign a due date as well 
topic it is again coming under my planning topic and now I have an option over here rubric now what is rubric Rubric is an option if I want to uh, tell the students on what basis I am giving them the marks. So I can tell them that one of the basis is your content. And I assign marks for content. Say uh, 50 marks. Level 1. And that work will be excellent. I assign 40 marks. That will be level 2 and oh, very good. So by this way, a student will be able to know on what criteria the marks have been given and where he or she lies. So that there is always a scope for improvement and the student knows that there is no biasness done. And 10 marks again, the last for below average okay. this is for 50 marks so I can add another criteria by clicking on this plus sign and my next criteria I say is presentation again I bifurcate 50 level 1 excellent 40 Level 2, very good. 30, level 3, good. And then write 20, level 4, average. And 10, that is a level, least level 5, that is below average. And I save it. This makes up my 100 marks. You can give as a number of points as you want. And now rubric is created and I assign the assignment to the student. Now what the student will do? Student will do the same steps as done earlier. That is go, go to the classwork. Refresh it once. So from the student viewpoint, we are seeing again this assignment is given and view assignment. And a student can see that uh, this assignment is of 100 marks and 50 points and 50 points content and presentation. And the student can see that 50 points, 1 grade, 2 grade, 3 grade, 4 grade and 5 grade. So the student will do the same thing, add from Google Drive link, file or doc slides, sheets and drawing. So this time I'll take it from my desktop. Here is the assignment. Open and upload. And again the student will turn in and the assignment will reach the teacher. Let me check as a teacher. So here I have one student turned in. Let's see how to check it. Very simple. Again, I go to this assignment. And now the marking becomes easy because after viewing the assignment, I can easily give marks like this. For content, I give it a 40. And for presentation, I give it a 30. So the total is already done, 70 marks. So I return it. Return. So I have checked one assignment and given a 70 marks. So this was the concept of rubric. I hope this is clear. And uh, the next video will show the quiz assignment part. Thank you so much for viewing this.